everyone, welcome back to Kiving into the latest updates from the G7 Summit, where leaders are gearing up to address a host of global issues with a special focus on Russia and Ukraine. There's a major plan in the works to utilize Russian assets to financially support Ukraine. Stay tuned as we break down the implications of this bold move and what it means for global financial stability. Let's get into it, Ukraine transcripts you. Three, the G7 summit kicks off tomorrow. We told you about the agenda yesterday. There's a host of issues that these leaders have to address. But one thing stands out, and that is tackling Russia. The G7 is once again gearing up to take an aim at Russia, specifically Russian money. They want to use Russian access to provide financial assistance. To Ukraine reports say the deal is done only some last minute details are being finalized and that the U.S. is confident of making an announcement during the G.I. Evans summit we will announce new steps to unlock 36 value of the immobilized Russian sovereign assets to benefit Ukraine and to help them recover from the destruction that Mr. Putin's army has caused. Now, this would be a significant move. It would have wide-ranging implications for the global financial system. It could undermine the world's trust in the system. It's like your neighbor going to a mall and buying products worth billions of dollars but they are not the ones paying the bills you are because your bank decided to charge your credit card for their run for shopping and that too without your consent. That's what the West is doing here with Russian assets. Moscow had assets worth $280 billion in Western financial institutions when the war in Ukraine began in 2022. Western governments froze these Russian assets. They were paired in the West. Most three countries, Belgium, France and Germany, now this money is lying with the banks in the form of securities and cash, and that these assets have been frozen, meaning Russia cannot access its own funds. But the money is still lying in 37 the bank, and it's generating interest just like a fixed deposit in a bank with the West wants to give this Russian money to Ukraine. And this would be done in the form of a loan. 